Hello YouTubers, welcome to TechCraft. In this video, we'll be making a DIY fast system or a gas stove. To make this, we're gonna need three syringe needles. I have got three here. Now we need a small straw. If it is bent or straight, it doesn't matter. I'm using a bent one here. Then we need two lighters. One lighter will be our source, and other one is used to light the fire system. Then we need two bottle caps. This will be our gas chamber. Then an insulation tape. A few rubber bands. Extra thing that you require to make this fire system is a hot glue gun. And then soldering iron. Soldering iron is used to put the hole into the bottle cap. Okay, now we need to make our gas chamber. For that, take one cap and push the needle from bottom. Put some pressure on it. Be careful not the bend, not to bend the needle. Okay. After inserting both of them, it should look like this one. If you want, you can insert more than two needles. Now put the other cap. Seal it with the insulation tape, and the gas chamber will be ready. Five to six rounds is enough. Both caps should be close to each other. Okay, after insulate, insulating with the insulation tape, it should look like this one. Now we need to make a hole in hole to the second cap or the bottom bottom cap. For that, I am using the soldering iron. Make sure our straw fits in very easily and seal it with few some hot glue. Make sure it is also airtight. Otherwise, we may lose our gas. Okay, it is completed. Okay, take out the third needle and also the insulation tape. This needle will be our connector to the straw. This one should be very airtight. This will be the key part. Okay, now take the needle and roll it along the insulation tape. Make sure it is perfect, otherwise the leakage may occur. Okay. Just roll it along the insulation tape. Like this one. Now, insert the needle into the gas way of the lighter. Push the needle in and it should cover the gas wave and thus it will prevent the leakage that's our plan if we use the hot glue the leakage may occur after five after using it for five or six minutes this will be permanent that's why i'm using it there can be leakage at the top of the insulation tape to prevent it use more insulation tape on the needle this will prevent it from leakage just roll the insulation tape along the needle. So it should look like this one. Now insert back into the lighter. Okay. Now we should check for the leakages. Just press the lighter switch and bring the lighter towards it. If it is blowing, then there is leakages. In this case, it is not blowing. That means there is no leakages. Now we need to put the top of the lighter back in. Just expand the lighter top and insert it. Okay. 
technically we have completed two parts the lighter source and the chamber The only thing remaining is to connect these together to ensure stable flow of the gas. Just put a rubber band onto the lighter switch like this one. When the switch is pressed, the tension in the rubber band will hold it and the gas will flow. Okay, like this one, just press it. After waiting for 30 to, sec 30 to 40 seconds, just light it on the syringe needles on the chamber. It will light. And there you go, our DIY gas towel or the fire system is ready. This looks cool though, that's why I like it. So if you like this video, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more of these kind of videos. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.